please i urge you to just go and subscribe a uh, revision ug.com uh, to get the previous videos on uh, the previous lessons uh, that is lesson from lesson four to lesson one all right so uh, in this lesson we are going to look at groups of birds we are continuing with our groups of birds in the previous lesson we looked at uh, the praying birds the scavenging birds but right now we are now going to look at another class of birds and this is going to be none other than patching birds so this word patching comes from a patch it comes from the word a patch so this word patch means a branch uh, on a tree it is a branch of a tree where these birds rest from so where uh, these birds are uh, rest from so that's the meaning of a patch so patching birds are the birds that patch on a branch of a tree so these are the birds patching birds are now uh, birds that patch are uh, that patch on a branch of a tree so they patch on a branch of a tree so for example when you look at this one so this one is our patch so it is just a patch then these are the legs these are the toes and the foot uh, this is a foot a foot so these are feet of a of this bad, bad so it is patching on this branch therefore uh, this bird becomes a patching what a patching bird then before you go any further these patching birds uh, when you go to when you look at their toes uh, or their foot or their feet uh, they have three toys pointing forward as you are seeing here so one two and three so they have one two and three so they have three one two and three so they have three toes pointing forward and this one is commonly asked in exams so they have two 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 toes pointing forward and one toe pointing backwards so um the question is always set like uh, what enables these patching birds to rest on branches of trees uh it is the arrangement of their toes three pointing forward and two and and one pointing backwards in order to hold a branch uh family uh-huh so uh, from there let us now go let us move on so these patching birds are classified into four groups mm. the patching birds are classified into uh, patching birds are classified into four groups according uh, to the way they feed according to their feeding habits uh, we have those patching birds that feed on fruits there are four those ones make a class of a uh, fruit eating birds or patching birds then you have those ones that feed on insects so they become insect eaters and again we have those ones that feed on nectar then we don't call them nectar eaters but we call them nectar suckers and the others that feed on um on seeds then these ones they become cd eaters so patching birds are classified into four one the fruit eaters the insect eaters the nectar suckers and the cd eaters so now we are going to look at uh one by one all right so now we are going to look at um, uh these these uh, subclasses of patching birds and here we are having our sub uh, the first one so this one is going to be a class of nectar suckers uh, right from what I've said I've said that uh, these ones are called patching birds because they patch uh, on a branch of a tree so they rest on a branch of a tree as you are seeing here so this one is having one two three so the three toys pointing forward and one point backwards one back three forward then this one becomes a patch so this bird here it is a nectar sucker meaning that it is uh, sucking nectar from a flower remember we said the nectar is a sweet juice form obtained from uh, flowers now when you look at its soft why is it able to suck nectar when you look at its beak it has a long cylinder curved beak so the beak is very long it is cylinder small and it is curved to fit inside even um, inside of those small small flowers and can rot uh, rotate within the flower to scoop or to get all uh, the nectar within the petals of such uh, flowers so uh, this one is a nectar sucker in an exam they can draw for you this beak or they can tell you uh, to draw uh, the beak of a nectar sucker so to draw a beak of a nectar sack so the beak of a nectar sucker it is long cylinder and curved in order to suck nectar from flowers so it's a patching bird but feeds on nectar therefore it is a nectar sucker so the best example is the sunny bird and also what you call 
the humming birds the humming bird now before we leave this one these sand birds they have a unique characteristic and what is that one a uh, these sand bird for them are uh, they're the birds that can fly backwards and forward so for them they can fly backwards as well as forward actually a uh, these sand birds we normally see them in the morning on side mirrors of those vehicles maybe in the parking so they see themselves in a mirror so the side mirror so they fly forward then they come back forward so there are birds that can do that they can fly backwards or uh, forward so the nectar suckers the examples you have the sunbird and the hummingbird then what makes them able to suck they have a long cylinder cavity a beak for sucking nectar now from there we are having this one and this one is what we call a swallow so this bird you are seeing here it is a swallow so a swallow moves with what we call a swift and a swift moves with what you call a sparrow and a sparrow is now in the same class of robins now when you cut all these ones the s tube and the ara the swallow the swifty the sparrow and the robins all of these ones are patching birds and these patching birds are called insect eaters we call them insect eaters for them they feed on insects and they're able to feed on insects because when you look at their beaks they have short narrow beaks that can enable them to pick insects because insects are small then they have to be with the narrow beaks and they have to be short so that they can easily pick those insects from a uh, backs of trees so uh, they have narrow their beaks are narrow and short in order to pick the insects so we call them insect eaters and the patching birds there are swallows swifts sparrows and robins okay so now when you look at this one this is what we call a manga and it is what you call the horn bill bird it is the horn bill bird mean bill means a beak and horn means a horn of animal so they are beaks they're like a horn so that's why we call them the horn bill birds and now these are the birds that feed on furio to see so they are free to eat us but they patch other trees uh, so they patch they hold the branch then they start eating the fruits from that tree so we call them fruit eaters or fruit eating birds and the patching birds then the best example and we have only one it is the hornbill are uh, bad then lastly because we said therefore we have what we call the seed eaters hmm? we have what we call the seed eaters now these seed eaters they have short uh, they have a short beaks uh, then they have short beaks then to, to do what to split the, the what the seeds and the best example here we have in the gaya weaver birds then again apart from weaver birds uh, we have what we call the pigeons they feed on uh, on on seeds and also the parrots so parrots pigeons weaver birds are uh, they are what we call seed eaters and they are under patching birds my dear lana i think we are still together so thank you for choosing revision are you Uganda, please don't forget to subscribe and please follow our website that is revisionuganda.com. Now, we've said these patching birds, uh, in summary, uh, they are classified into four the fruit eater, the, the insect eaters, and I mean the nectar suckers. Uh, we have the insect eaters, then we have the fruit eaters, and also we have what we call the seed eaters. So, a hornbill bird, it is a fruit eater, the swallows, the swifties, the sparrows, the robins, the cuckoos, they are what we call insect insect eaters then we have the weaver birds uh, pigeons parrots and so on they are and uh, what we call cd eaters all right so let us move on and look at another class of uh, birds so here we are we are having what we call scratching birds now scratching comes from the word a uh, scratch so these birds for them they scratch the earth is ground in order to get their food so from the ground they can get some worms they can get some small insects from there uh, as they do what they scratch and the best examples of the scratching birds are all what you call the domestic fowls domestic fowls like uh, the hens the cocks the turkeys uh, the pig uh, the hens the cocks the turkeys uh, we have the quails then we have the um, uh, the quills then we have the, uh, the, the, the the golden falcons so all those ones are domestic falls and they are found um, uh, all scratching the ground to get their food so what makes them able to feed the way they do one when you look at their toes uh, their toes are strong they have strong uh, foot or feet uh, with 
uh, with uh, crows with with thick toes when you look at the toes are thick just go and um, uh, look at those toes of that hen you are having at home so when you look at the toes the toes are thick and the crows are not pointed but the crows are blunt in that when they keep on scratching the to the crows or the talons they don't get broken they don't break so they are just blunt to make them uh, um, able to scratch the soil to get insects from there the worms from there and others now when you look at their um, their beaks here uh their beaks are short and conical so they have short conical beaks so they have short conical beaks uh which can enable them to spread out uh, the, the worms the insects they have obtained from the ground so these ones are called the scratching birds mm -hmm. so from scratching birds we have another group of birds and this one is called the climbing birds so these birds yes they can fly but for them uh, more of uh, of these ones uh, they do climb what do they climb they are able to climb the trees and the best example is what to call a woodu pecker and apart from a woodu pecker even a parrot it's also a climbing bird so what makes them able to climb as you can see from here uh, they have four toes mm -hmm. uh -huh. Apart, uh, if they have four toes the arrangement of toes uh, their toes is that uh, they have two pointing forward and two pointing backwards now here this they pose a question at for um, are you to state the difference between the toes of the patching birds and the toes of the climbing birds for the patching birds we said they have three pointing forward and one pointing backwards then the climbing birds they have two pointing forward and two pointing backwards now this arrangement of their toes uh, it enables them to climb the what the trees as you are seeing from this diagram here so this is a wood Woodpecker. Now it is climbing. It can climb the tree. Then it feeds on insects found on those trees. So they can pick the insects from the trees. Uh huh. So these ones are called the climbing birds. My dear Lana, are you still there? So I congratulate you upon choosing revisionuganda.com. Please subscribe, follow, share. We meet in the next lesson. Mm. Your teacher has been Hakim.